2022 Gatorade National Cross Country Athlete of the Year, Colin Sullivan of Newberry Park. The All Sports Gatorade Award uh, being presented tonight, the, the national winner for all sports. First off, how's the experience been with Gatorade? How have they treated you? Um, it's been it's been pretty cool. We we got a little spoiled. We got some. They gave us some Jordans and some. I saw those. Yeah, those are those are cool. I actually wore them before I before I dressed up for this, so it was cool. Yeah, so we we got pr pretty cool stuff. Um, the hotel's amazing. Just mingling with all the other athletes, you know, hearing their backstories with their different sports. It's it's been cool. It's been a cool experience just talking with them. You know what's amazing is the last couple of years, the athletes in your generation, in your high school generation, have had to deal with all the problems with COVID. And something like that, you would think you, you kids would lose a lot of lot, lose a lot of opportunities. Amazingly, you were able to still enjoy a lot of opportunities, a lot of success. I mean, I'm still stunned by that fact that in the time of COVID, you really didn't lose much. Uh, what lessons, what, you know, what did you learn? What was the experience like for you the last couple of years with everything going on? Um, I mean, you really just got to motivate yourself and just, like, keep pushing even though it's hard. Because, like, our, pretty much our entire track season was canceled my junior year. And then our coach took upon himself to put on four track meets in Arizona where everything was open. And we just went out there four times and we raced. We raced track because that's what we like to do. And so that really that helped us actually like have a, a track season. And it was nice to, um, when you have someone who's as dedicated as that, it's easy to stay motivated knowing that he'll open up opportunities for you. In sophomore year in cross country, you, know, you had a really nice showing at, at nationals, a key, key as far as the team national performance. Mm -hmm. Since then, obviously, for a guy who was like number four man on that on that day and for much of the year, and then you go on, which was great, and then you go on and do some incredible stuff the next couple of years, run some phenomenal times on the track, a lot of experience, uh, big experiences in cross country. Uh, mm -hmm. What's uh, what were you most impressed by in terms of what you were able to achieve? Probably that, probably that 1403. I was, in, I was in expecting that. I remember thinking 1410, like that's insane. I remember thinking that. Right. And because I ran 1426 at the state meet, um, that is a much different course than running lane. Of course, I didn't know it was going to be that much faster. There's still some hills, but it was it was a fast race, and I didn't expect to PR by 23 seconds. So. I think that really shocked me, and knowing that I was able to do that in cross country. So. Colin, when did you first begin to start really surprising yourself as to just how much you were improving? Uh, definitely freshman year, because I mean, eighth grade, like I did youth track, but I still didn't really understand the sport all that much. I was just doing like three mile runs, some 200s every now and then. And then when I got to high school, everything was like, it's like, this is your sport, this is serious. And I remember when I had that huge jump and I ran 4.16 at Arcadia, I think that's when I really started to realize, like, like I can, like, I'm really good at this and I really enjoy this, so. In addition to the individual success of which you've had a great deal, you've had the great fortune of being on a phenomenal program, enjoying some just jaw-dropping team successes. Yes. I mean, all-time greatest mm -hmm. performances. How's that been? What's been more enjoyable for you? What's been more what? More enjoyable for you. What's I mean, been more enjoyable? Uh, definitely the team, for sure. I mean, <laughs> we, I think we have, um, I think we have every single national record that there is in cross country. I think from the team three mile, team five k, individual three mile, individual five k. I think our team owns all of that, and it's cool that I think we did that all this year. So <laughs> it was cool to just do that with them and experience that with them and just go out there and be the best team we can be and be the best team ever. In hindsight. As good as you guys have been individually, collectively, and as a team, mm -hmm. were you guys feeling pressure? Was there pressure? I mean, it almost doesn't seem like. I mean, didn't yeah. sense it. How was it on the inside? On the inside, I mean, there's definitely some internal competition, for sure, because we're all at around the same level. So it's it, was, it felt kind of like back and forth, like, like, like Leo was strong at Woodbridge, Aaron was really strong at Woodbridge, and then at Clovis, you know, I, I, was, I picked it up a little bit. So it was always kind of like internal, like there's definitely some like but battles it, going on there, but we're all just, at the end of the day, we're all happy as a team. And 
but like internally, did you guys feel pressure from all the expectation out there? I mean, you guys are living in this world with a lot of social media, a lot of spotlight. Mm -hmm. Were you guys feeling pressure from the outside? Me, personally, no. Um, do, you, do you feel your team felt it? No. <laughs> wow. No. I mean, we're just really good at blocking all that stuff out and just like not really paying attention to what other people are saying. Like We're just we're out there to, to run our best race. We're out there to run the fastest that anyone's ever run. So um, we just don't listen to that and we just go out there and do it. So was it a case where, like Coach would say, stay off social media? Or, or how did you guys keep the pressure off? Because there was a lot of mm -hmm. talk of the greatest and whatever. Yeah. I mean, he sometimes he kind of mentions like like maybe try and stay off like before a big race, but um, I don't really think any of us do it. <laughs> but um, we, I mean, even if we see something, we just like I don't know, we're just not affected by it. We just don't take it personally or anything. We just kind of ignore it and just know what we can do, and we know that I mean, we're really confident. Our entire team is really confident that we're just gonna go out there and just beat everyone. I guess I don't know. Just go out there and just run, run as fast as we can, and just run. Just run. <laughs> Certain parts of cross country and in track make it an individual sport to a degree. Mm -hmm. um, you enjoyed a lot of success and progress. What did you learn about yourself, either as an athlete or as a person, or both, the last few years in high school? Um, I've learned that I am not a quitter. For sure. I mean, because I think like maybe eighth grade me or freshman year me would kind of. Like, if I was really pushing that hard, I'd probably be like, oh, man, I don't want to do this. But, like, I mean, still, even if you're pushing that hard, like, you don't want to do it. But I've learned that, like, I like I don't quit. I just keep pushing, and I'll go into that extra gear when I don't think I can, and I'll just I'll just keep on the grind in the race. And that's what running lane was like for me. Like, I felt like giving up about a half mile left. Like, we, I felt like we were sprinting, but I, I didn't want to let up, um, even though I may have been feeling really dead on the inside and like just felt like I wanted to drop down, but I just I kept going, put one foot in front of the other, and just hammering that last half mile. The uh, in terms of the progress and what we've seen so far, now your next step, the next chapter, NAU, tremendous program. You go from one to another. Have you already thought a lot about college in a sense, competition-wise? Um, a little bit. What comes um, to mind? What comes to mind? I don't. Probably just probably NCAA's cross country. Um, I don't. I don't really know what to expect. <laughs> it's just. It's a big transition from 5K to 10K. So I'll have to see how my body handles that. Um, I think I can be deadly in the 10K. And I think I can contribute to that team. Um, and they're all. They're all great. They all. They have like the same mindset we do. Like we all want to push each other. So. I think it'll be really, really cool to jump in there and see what I can do against like the top NCAA runners. Indoor Nationals. Of course, it was at 800, and Kate Flat was in that race. Yeah. He's here. He came across a certain way to a lot of people. Yeah. He, he's, he's very quotable. You've met him, you know, in person, clearly, you know, today, I'm sure yesterday. Thoughts? Thoughts? I don't know. He seems a lot different in person than he does in his interviews, that's for sure. He he seems like a nice guy. He's kind of quiet to himself, but um, seems like a nice guy from what I've seen. Um, I think some of those interview quotes were a little, I don't know, maybe got caught up in the moment or something. But, um, yeah, I don't know. He seems, he seems a lot nicer in person, that's for sure. Ten years down the road, mm -hmm. what do you think we'll see Colin Salmon doing? Ten years. Ten or five. Years. In 10 years, I think, I'm hoping to be qualified for a world team, Olympic team. Um, I don't know what distance yet, because, <laughs> I mean, I think for the first year of college, I still want to try that 1500, and I think Coach Smith agrees with that. Um, just try and get, just like, develop that speed even more, and then I think I'll probably transition to a 5K runner and have that, have that speed in that 5K and be deadly in that event. I'm not 100% sure, but I think that's where I'll be going. I think that I'm heading down into the further events. Well, from freshman year, I mean, we saw sparks of, or the first clues of big success. Sophomore year, we saw that a lot. That, okay, this kid's going to do something, and he has the attitude to do it. So to see it happen junior year, senior year, to be a phenomenal leader in a phenomenal program, it's been key. I'm hoping a lot of the kids around the country who've seen your success know that behind it was a lot of hard work, 
but also a lot of selflessness, a lot of encouraging teammates and being part of a team and not just self-absorbed in a sense. So in that sense, thanks for what you've done for our sport at the high school level because it's been a tremendous example for everyone out there. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's been great.